Hello, this is Justin Seven with SportsbookReview.com. I'm going to talk about how many points will Kobe Bryant score in Game 4 in the Lakers versus Magic. During the regular season, Kobe had 26.8 points a game, uh, but that's not a very good predictor of how many points he'll have going forward. So let's first look at uh, how many average points the Lakers had during the regular season. You see it's 106.9. Next thing I want to do is look at the lines and the market price. If you look at the current spread and total for this game, it suggests instead of having 106.9 points, the Lakers will probably have about 99.5 as, as a median point. So using these two numbers, you can come up with the predicted you know, points that Kobe would have on average in this next matchup. So you take his 26.8, multiply it times 99.5, divide by 106.9, and that gives you an average uh, a lot lower than what the market is out there. Now the real trick is to turn these averages into a useful piece of information where you can bet on it and make money. The Poisson is not ideal for estimating Kobe Bryant points for a couple of reasons. The first one is that he's scoring on a lot more than 10% of his offensive possessions. Um, that alone is not a fatal flaw. The bigger problem is that on a, every scoring opportunity he can score one, two, three, or even four points on an offensive possession. Um, but there's a way to adapt for that, and that's to figure out how many points he's scoring roughly per scoring opportunity, and then you use that to normalize his points into um, a number you can use with your Poisson distribution. This chart here shows how many points he's scoring in various offensive opportunities, whether it's a three-point shot, a two-point shot, or I'm going to call it a pair of field goal attempts. This is obviously not perfect because there may be instances when he has a three-point play after a two-point shot with a follow-up foul, or even a three-point shot with a follow-up foul shot. Um, but I think it's going to get us pretty close. And if you look here at uh, how many points he's scoring on average with each offensive position that he scores, it turns out to be about 2.03 points. If I want to convert his points scored into a Poisson-type distribution, I would take his average and I'll divide it by the points scored per possession, in this case 2.03. So if I'm going to expect him to have 24.9 points in a matchup, uh, for the Poisson distribution I'm going to divide that by 2.03. And likewise when I'm looking at a spread that I'm betting against for how many points I'll have, I'll use 2.03 for that also. A sports book put up an over under for Kobe's points at 31.5. So if I want to compare the two Poisson distributions, I'm going to divide this number by 2.03 also. So once I have these two Poisson estimates, I can plug it into SBR's spreadsheet under their betting tools. With the betting tools, I'm putting in 12.3 for the number of, call it, successful scoring opportunities. Pinnacle's line suggests it's 15.5. And you'll see that there's a, apparently a huge value betting the under. So when I see a price that says it should be minus 461 and I'm able to play it as a dog, the first thought that goes through my head is I must have missed something because that's, that's too good. Uh, so first thing I'll do is do a sanity check. I look at the last 20 games he played in the regular season and I'll see that in 16 out of those 20 games he did score under 31 and a half points. Now there's a couple other places that could introduce error. The second is does Kobe play better in the playoffs or you know is using regular season statistics not a valid way to project playoff statistics. If you wanted to, you could run the numbers with his playoff average of 30.5, but even using that, you'd still expect him to go under the 31.5. So in this case, I, I'm pretty sure the under has the best of it. Generally, I would rather use the whole season's worth of games, 82 games for a person, than limiting my sample to just the 21 playoff games he's had so far. So if I had to pick between using regular season statistics or playoff statistics, I would pick using the whole season-long statistics. Um, another option you have is you could take some kind of average of them. But in either case, uh, the stats show that playing under 31.5 is probably going to be the better play. If you have any other gambling-related questions, feel free to send me an email or a PM to justin at sportsbookreview.com.